In this video, we're diving into some of the most amazing mods that can completely transform Skyrim into a new and exciting experience. From unique characters to revamped gameplay, these mods add an entirely different dimension to the world we know and love. Whether you're looking for a fresh take on Skyrim or just want to try something new, stick around because these mods are going to blow you away. Let's kick off this section with race mods, starting with Eren Race. If you're a fan of anime-inspired characters, or enjoy character designs from games like Genshin Impact or Girls Frontline, this mod is a must-have. Eren Race builds on the foundations set by previous anime-style mods, such as the classic Terra Elin Race. While players once relied on Elin Remaster for this aesthetic, Eren Race takes it to the next level with an upgraded customization range. Despite its anime roots, Eren Race surprised me with its extensive customization options. In Acro's active Discord community, players share presets, from hairstyles and eyes to facial sculpting, making it easier than ever to personalize this race. An array of compatible outfits and even wigs have been developed to complement the look, making it impossible not to take notice. Though traditional true Nord players may find anime-styled characters a bit out of place, it reflects a global trend, with popular content across games and media embracing this style. What amazes me is that Skyrim's harsh, dragon-filled world can support such varied modding builds. Sharing this exciting update with those anime-loving viewers on my channel feels essential. Whether or not it's your style, the Eren Race mod shows just how diverse Skyrim's modding scene has become. Next, let's dive into moveset mods, focusing on a few inspired by Soulworker. First up is the Soulworker Lily moveset which brings the dynamic and flashy combat style of Lily to Skyrim, specifically tailored for those wielding the Scyther weapon. Equipping the Scyther unlocks access to this move set, letting you experience Soulworker's unique and high-energy animations. This mod offers fast-paced, visually striking moves, including sweeping scythe swings, ranged throws, and even a violet whirlwind attack. The animations are not only quick and stylish, but also include a unique idle stance, which pairs well with anime-inspired characters like those using the Eren race. When attacking humanoid enemies, you can also enjoy compatibility with Elden Ring, causing a satisfying stagger effect as enemies fall back, making it a versatile choice for dynamic combat. Next up is the Soul Worker Iris moveset adding an explosive, rocket launcher-based combat style to Skyrim. To use this moveset, you'll need to equip the Wrath Warhammer weapon included in the mod, which unlocks the powerful, unique animation suited for anime-inspired moves, particularly well-paired with the Eren race. The Iris moveset emphasizes long-range attacks with impressive damage output, though its versatility also allows close quarter strikes. Normal attacks swing the rocket launcher like a melee weapon, while special moves let you plant it into the ground to fire a shockwave or unleash dynamic, powerful animations for clearing foes with style. With a complete set of movement and equip animations, this well-rounded, high-quality moveset is sure to leave a strong impression. Next up is the Soul Worker Jin moveset, which brings a fierce martial arts-inspired style to Skyrim. With this moveset, equipping gauntlets transforms your character into a powerful melee fighter, delivering fast, impactful punches that radiate strength. The animations evoke the essence of a seasoned brawler, complete with explosive effects. Striking the ground with your fists can trigger seismic effects, and powerful yellow flaming punches add even more intensity to attacks. This set feels almost too powerful for the Skyrim world enabling you to take down large groups of enemies with ease. While balance is crucial, the stylish and potent nature of the Jin moveset makes it a must-have for fans of Soul Worker or those wanting a high-energy combat experience. The next mod is Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, Siegfried Moveset. This mod brings Siegfried's attack style from Grand Blue Fantasy into Skyrim. Equipping the weapon included in the mod lets you perform Siegfried's powerful and weighty attack animations. When using power attacks, you might see a red blade effect, and certain combos even trigger a fiery strike. 
There's also a flashy move that launches enemies into the air, making for a visually impressive combat experience. The weapon itself has a magma-inspired design, so if you enjoy using great swords, this unique moveset mod is definitely worth checking out. Lastly, we have the Soul Worker Donna moveset. This dual wield moveset is activated by equipping the scissor weapon in both hands, resulting in exceptionally fast, precise, and thrilling attack motions. With a unique visual appeal, it sometimes triggers electric effects and releases blue scissor projectiles, adding a fierce intensity to every strike. The rapid attack speed makes it a bit demanding for scripts to keep up, so using this moveset may require some caution. However, the impressive visuals and varied attack motions based on directional inputs add layers of excitement and depth to your combat experience. The Soul Worker Donna moveset offers an exhilarating stylistic edge, perfect for players who want fast-paced, impactful combat in Skyrim. Next up, we're diving into follower mods, showcasing a couple of unique companions for your adventures. First up is Little Cheshire Race and Follower. This charming follower is based on the sixth anniversary model from the mobile game Azor Lane. You can find her at Moorside Inn, where she stands out with her unique custom Japanese voice lines, adding a playful touch to interactions. Her outfit and appearance, including her adorable ears, are locked for customization, but support full physics morphing, giving her a highly detailed and expressive look. If you're using the Aaron race, she's one of the best companions you can add, as her anime-inspired design complements that style beautifully. Plus, with support for a standalone Cheshire race, you can even play as this adorable character yourself. This follower is an ideal pick for anyone looking to add a cute, well-crafted character to their Skyrim journey. Next up is the Paimon Follower SE. This mod introduces Paimon from Genshin Impact as a follower in Skyrim, complete with custom features and animations. Dressed in her signature outfit from Genshin Impact, Paimon has a unique flying animation and a range of custom dialogue and voice lines, adding to her charm and personality. You can find her at the Sleeping Giant Inn, making for a cute and distinctive follower choice. I thought she'd pair perfectly with the Aaron race adding a whimsical touch to your adventures. Now finally, the quest-related mod Super Skyrim Bros SE. This is a classic yet famous mod that lets players explore the world of Super Mario within Skyrim. In this mod, players can fast travel to a new map marker beneath Winterhold, where they'll find a mysterious note inside a house. By reading the note and sleeping, they enter a dream world where they embark on a fresh adventure through the Mushroom Kingdom. The goal? To rescue Princess Toadstool, who's been captured by Bowser. Along the way, players can battle iconic enemies like Goombas and Koopa Troopas, face powerful bosses, and collect coins for rewards. The mod even includes weapons, shields, and power-up items inspired by the Mario series. Complete with classic Mario music and sound effects, this mod adds a whole new level of immersion and nostalgia to Skyrim. If you haven't tried it yet, definitely give it a shot for a unique and entertaining twist on your Skyrim journey. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which mods you're most excited to try, or if there's any you think should be on the list. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all things Skyrim modding. Happy modding, and see you in the next video.